You guys have worked your butts off over the last year and it has paid off because we just hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. Unbelievable. Why, hello there. Brent here with the Bring Your Own Tools and on today's episode, we are building charcuterie boards out of black American walnut. If you want to learn how to do it, as well as potentially winning one of these, keep on watching. Let's get started. Woo! It's been one truly remarkable year here at BYOT this year, and we've done so many amazing projects, whether it was home improvement projects or my favorite, woodworking projects. And guess what? Through all those projects, we have copious amounts of leftover scrap that I need something to do with. And there's a lot of people in my life that I want to say a personal thank you to. And luckily, we are actually seeing a few of those people here in the very near future. But I also want to say a big special thank you to you, the individuals that really support this channel and actually watch this channel. So at the tail end of this video, you'll see how to win one of these boards that I'll be making up in this video. Let's get to it. Now, if you follow my channel, you know my favorite wood is black American walnut, not only due to its natural beauty, but it does have superior strength and durability, which is exactly why I love it for charcuterie boards or cutting boards. I also feel this is something that anyone can make as long as they have a saw and a sander. So if you're not one of the lucky few that actually wins one of these, you can take this on and I'll leave a link in the description box below on where I purchased this material originally. I first go about cutting these into more manageable sizes, one because I have to make sure that we have nice crisp ends, but two, it needs to fit into my suitcase while I travel to a work convention in California. You can do this with a table saw or skill saw, but if you do a skill saw, just make sure you have a contractor square on hand. After I had it all cut up, I did realize there were a few knot holes, but with knot holes, an easy way to fill those is just using some Starbond adhesive. This specific adhesive does have a pigment in it, so it's actually more brown. Plus, I spray down an accelerator first, so it actually dries extremely quickly, so you can sand it even faster. But before we start the sanding process, I do want to give these boards a bit more character. And with character comes a 45 degree chamfer bit with my router. Now this router is attached to a router table, but you certainly don't need this type of setup. You can easily just have a quarter inch chuck router and go over all these areas, but this does make life a little bit easier and a little bit faster to do it this way. Not only does this provide a nice style element for all these boards, but it also provides a really easy way to grab the board because it's more of a handhold at the very bottom, so you're easily able to grab the bottom of the board and carry it wherever you want. Now there was a particular individual in my life that really helped the channel grow greatly over the last year, and due to the fact that he's getting married this week, I wanted to do something a little bit special for him, which is why I picked up a piece of burled walnut, cut it into more of a unique shape, and used a round over bit to round over all the edges on both sides of the board in order for it to have a perfectly smooth feel when you do pick it up. But once you have all of your routing taken care of, it's now time for sanding. And for sanding, I'm going from 100 grit all the way up to 240, just because I want to have a perfectly smooth finish in the end. With each board, I go from 100 to 150 to 200 to 240 grit to get a perfectly smooth finish. And the tricky part about this sanding process is to make sure you get all of those unique corners and sides of each board. That tiering process really makes a large difference when it comes time to the look and feel because not only will it feel beautiful and smooth, but you'll be able to avoid any of those unwanted swirl marks or swirl patterns within this beautiful walnut. However, before I do my final pass with 240 grit, I do take a sanding block with some sandpaper attached and go over all of the sharp corners in order to gradually break that corner to have an even smoother look and feel. After that's done, then I go back and sand the board with 240 grit. This process was done over and over and over again because there's a number of people that I want to thank as well as a number of viewers that I want to thank as well. Each one of these boards is beautiful in its own right 
and something that I personally think anyone can take on. However, one thing that you can't get is a personally branded BYOT board, which I feel just gives a little bit more pizzazz to each one of these boards. Before you apply your finish to each board, I do suggest going over the entire surface with a tack cloth to remove any of the excess dust and debris that was made during the sanding process. But once that's taken care of, I do apply a healthy coat of cutting board oil by Walrus Oil, which is an all natural product that does not contain any walrus whatsoever. Just a helpful note to self on that one. And all I have to do is apply it vigorously to all surfaces of each board with a clean lint-free cloth and let it soak in overnight. I do come back to it the next morning and remove any of the excess that still might be on those boards. But after that's taken care of, I apply a final finish coat of cutting board wax by Walrus Oil, which just gives an extra layer of protection. Not something you have to do, but definitely was something that I wanted to do. And all I'm doing to apply this wax is just taking a lint-free cloth and wiping it onto the surface in a clean circular wax on wax off pattern and then removing any of the excess afterwards. But guess what? Once we have that taken care of, we are done. Black American Walnut is truly my favorite wood to use. And as you can see, the natural beauty and the grain structure of these boards are incredible. So incredible that I just cannot wait to give these out. But that involves a plane ride. Yep, a plane ride to Vid Summit, which is an amazing event. First time that I ever went, but it was incredible because it's a dedicated event for YouTubers to try and help grow their business and their reach. This is why it's so important to have that community around you because the fact that we are all in this together and we're all trying to strive on this amazing platform. But luckily for me, there were a couple people in mind that I absolutely was dying to see in person like Leah from Sea Gendril and of course, Mitch from Goodly Earth. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. Yep. Little well, BYOT is it, batch. Is it, is it walnuts? Of course it is. <laughs> is it, of course. It's my favorite. This is so expensive. Two of the nicest people that I've met in this amazing industry. And of course, a big special thank you to my brand manager, Marty. He's been with me for a year and has truly been an amazing savior to my business as well as my mental health because things are getting a little busy here at BYT as well as the fact that he's getting married. So you got to give him something a little special, right? This year has been truly remarkable, not only to the fact that I'm a newly father, but I have had the most successful year to date on YouTube. And that's all thanks to you guys, the viewership, because if you guys weren't watching, I wouldn't be able to do what I love for a living, which is helping others learn how to build and create. And with that, I wanted to say a big special thank you to you guys, the viewer, which is why I'm giving away a couple of these charcuterie boards to the audience. All I have to do to potentially win one of these boards is to sign up for my email list at bwowtools.me, as well as leaving a comment in the description of this video. That's all I have to do. I'll make sure and have listings below in the description as to where to actually find those links, but I'll also potentially be giving away some merch because I have a new BYOT updated merch shirt as well as a few other fun, unique designs. But with that being said, I just can't wait to see what 2022 has in store for BYOT. Let's find out. <laughs>